Now, some of you may have come across this in algebra before. And once you've learned how to multiply out brackets, which remember entailed us doing the following. Whatever's outside the bracket, you multiply with what's inside the bracket. Okay? Ignore FOIL for the time being. Just concentrate on this. So 2 times 3a is equal to 6a. And 2 times 2 is 4. So that's the answer for that um, multiplying out of brackets or removing the brackets. Okay? Please don't do what one chap did in the exam once before and the question said remove the brackets and lo and behold he removed the brackets. That's not how we do it. Of course you knew that. Let's get back to FOIL. What does FOIL stand for? What does it mean? When we're multiplying over brackets and we're multiplying two, a set of, two sets of brackets we use FOIL to help us. Okay, the F stands for first, the O stands for outside, the I is the inners or the inside, and the L is for last. Okay, so F O I L, first, outside, inside, and last. So, where does this come in handy? Well, it certainly comes in handy when you have a sum like this. Let's take 3a plus 2b in brackets squared. Now, what should we do first? Well, let's see what's in the bracket. Okay, let's just write it out again. 3a plus 2b. And because it's squared, we open up another bracket. Okay. Right. So remember, squared, take whatever's in that bracket and just tw do it twice. Right. So now we employ FOIL. What are the first numbers here? It's 3a and 3a. So let's just match them up so we know we're going to multiply those two. Okay. Then outside. Okay. There's the I mean, sorry, first, okay, and then the two outside ones. So there we go, O for the outside ones. Then we have the inside. There we go. Those are the two inside ones. And L, yeah, you've guessed it, last. So let's do the sum now, okay? The first was 3a times 3a. So what's 3 times 3? Three? 3 times 3 is 9. a times a is a squared. All right. So now we've done the first. Now we go to the two outside ones. And what is 3a times 2b? Well, that is 6ab. Done the outside. Now, the inside, we've got positive 2b multiplied by 3a. So, yes, same as that. It's going to be 6ab. All right. And then the last 2 to be multiplied is the 2b times 2b. And that is 2 times 2 is 4. And, of course, we've got b times b, which is b squared. Now we're not finished, because what we did when we first did started learning about algebra, we spoke about gathering like terms, things that are the same. So is there anything the same? a squared, a, b, a, b, ah, a, b, and a, b are the same. So we're going to put them together. So what is 6a, b, plus another 6a, b? I've got six lot of a, b's. And I add another lot of 6ABs, which is going to give me 12 lots of AB. Now bring in these and ask yourself, any more like terms? No. That then is my answer.